um, back and I uh, wasn't really planning on doing any recording today, but uh, I just had a, a wonderful exchange with a person named Slibanaz69 and he's lent me his Silk Touch pickaxe. Now that I've got Silk Touch, I can relocate my bees, which have become, if you look around, a little bit numerous, I think is an understatement. He gave me his cord, so I can t give him his pickaxe back later. But I've also been offered by Darth Tater to go and get uh, Silk Touch for maybe one of my own tools or something. Here's the pickaxe, and I've said I'll, I'll repair it for him, which should be fine and easy. All i got to do is get a bunch of redstone or, or lapis lazuli or coal or something while I'm mining. And have this in, the, in my offhand, and I should be fine. I have some bees to relocate. So, welcome to the next episode. So first off, I'm going to have to start thinking of a location to build some kind of a bee sanctuary. Obviously it's going to have to be able to keep all my bees. I don't know how many I've got, but I've got quite a lot. It seems most of my hives are chock-a-block full with, with honey. Oh dear, oh dear. What I'll do is I'll obviously uh, take the honey out. Maybe I'll take it out in wax form, or I'll take it out in just honey form. I'll build some kind of a bee sanctuary somewhere. It doesn't really matter. I'm sure you saw planning the outer walls of the, the castle last time. That it's actually a lot bigger than I'd kind of hoped. So I've got lots of space in here. Uh, I ended up trying to include every little bit of water around here, because I quite enjoy having water. It's, it's very useful to have water in, in this game. Especially since I like my f my favorite form of fuel is kelp. Now I, I took the, the the one video out where I mentioned that I died while diving trying to get kelp. I've got a, a like three uh, kelp places here. I think this is the one I died in. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not too sure. I think it actually might have been this bigger one that I was just in now. Yeah. See this back wall here. There's still a hole here. And uh, unfortunately I had a bit of lag, a lag spike, and I died in that, in this water here. Even though I had already gone into that little cave down there, it was a bit bigger at the time. Then I went and I tried to close it up. That lag spikes are real, hey? And I'm, I'm sitting generally on three bars here. So it's not really to my advantage to be diving at a bad opportunity so ideally I, I would like to build like a, a more automatic kelp farm so I don't have to risk my life by swimming but it's not that big of a deal see uh, Darth mentioned that I can possibly go get silk touch from him sometime if I can bring enough paper to trade with with uh, his his villagers and then obviously I, I would take the emeralds to trade for the silk touch. I think it might be a book he mentioned. Yes, I think that's going to be quite a nice little kingdom. Should be good. The other thing I want to do uh, in this episode is I want to plan the style of, of what, what these castle walls are going to look like. So I'm thinking I'm going to make them too thick at the bottom at least. And then they can get thinner. This is something that unfortunately didn't get covered in the in the the last uh, video was that I, I built these little extra bits out here I quite like castles I mean I, I researched them as a kid in school uh, I remember building a castle out of cardboard this was long before the internet well not long I mean it was a few years before the internet even came to South Africa so I mean uh, what we had was uh, basically uh, we would go to the library in our standard five classes, which are grade seven, we would have these things called teachbacks. So we would uh, do a bunch of research, then we would teach the class for a little bit. And we would have had to have done our research, and then, of course, the teacher would be marking us on it. Now that I think back to it, <laughs> that was quite a cop-out for the teachers. <laughs> uh, means they don't get to have to do the, the work. Well, I mean, in the end of the day, they, they've got to check our research. They had to check our research. And I think my teacher was quite impressed by uh, by that because I think it ended up staying at school for a while. Okay, hi. Well, I'm back again, and uh, I've just spent a little bit of time in creative mode, uh, creative single player, 
trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the bees. And, uh, well, I've built myself a big enough, I think, um, concept for the bee sanctuary that I was planning on making. Well, uh, the, the, the concept is that the bees will all go into the, into the bee sanctuary and uh, hopefully they'll have enough flowers to work with, etc. Hopefully they'll, they'll be, it'll be a good enough life for them inside there. I'll probably play the replay mod version of building the, designing the thing for you, probably right away. See you guys after that, and then I'll get to building the actual one on the server. sanctuary is going to be. I've worked it out. It, it should fit in here nice and snugly. I think this is 11 wide from this road to this road. The sanctuary I planned out earlier is about 10 wide so I should be good to pop it in here between these roads. If not I might move that road just one to the right there from this perspective to the right just away so that I've got a, a little bit of pavement flanking the sanctuary but there's also going to be to this side of the sanctuary is going to be some like a park area i think to this side of the sanctuary might be a couple of houses i haven't really uh, planned the houses and shops out too well they're kind of interchangeable at this stage in that i might make some of the places houses and shops and i might make all of the places houses and shops so that that I've planned for houses and shops I mean some of the some of the places I've planned have houses and shops just written as a as a collection and some of the places are just houses and some of the places are just shops but I might just use the whole idea interchangeably like for example if you're a person who's on foot and and you live in a in a castle in the interior sort of uh, protected area of a castle. I mean, most people aren't going to get up on, get on their uh, horses to ride around a castle, you know? I mean, some people might if they're pompous and full of shit, if you know what I mean. Like me, I suppose I'm the king in this area. <laughs> You're going to want to go to a shop that's on your level. You want to climb too many stairs to get up to shops and stuff like that. And that's something that's true even for modern day cities. Most of the time, shops are on the bottom floor, and then houses are above. That'll be what I'm going to mimic in, in my interior castle area. I might build some stuff outside of the, the castle I've designated, but uh, I'm going to concentrate as much as I can inside the castle, just to keep it looking like it's bustling. So I might overdo it, but... Uh, We'll see. It's going to be a surprise to me and you. I mean, you've now seen the plans I've, I've made for the, the bee sanctuary. Even those, those plans might get some major overhauls. So yeah, uh, my, my plans are getting quite complicated and I might have bitten off way more than I can chew. Uh, it's, it's pretty likely. I mean, I think I might have overdone it. 
We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it all works out. I don't want to over plan. I don't want to under plan either. You know, it's the balance with 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 something like this. This is this is a bit of an experiment. I mean, it's mostly about the building this time for me. I think I might do some exploring, but I mean, obviously, in the end of the day, I'm going to have to do some exploring, specifically because I need resources. I'm going to need a heck of a lot of resources for what I'm going to be making around here. Like. For example, that, that bee sanctuary is going to take a lot of glass. I've already got a bunch of glass that I used to make a bunch of bottles, you know. Uh, and I didn't go too far to get it either. I, 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 I got some from some of the water around here. And then I also got some from going out into the swamp a little. But I really need to find like a desert or a beach or something. So that I can I can get some decent supply of sand, and, I, and I'm 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 probably going to do some stuff at the front around here with these old castles in the medieval days. They tended to spill out of the castle. The, these castle areas tended to be for everyone to retreat into if there was a war happening, and then they would like if there was going to be an army outside the castle, and uh, then they would all. Well, they would harvest as much as they can, then burn the stuff outside there, and then they would obviously take all their belongings and they would all camp inside the castle so that because they were protected by nice high walls, big strong walls, you know. Or maybe that's the, the, the story I get in my mind when I think of castles, you know. I know that castles tended to be surrounded by more city, specifically because. Not everyone could fit in the actual castle area. The cities tended to grow around the castles because, well, I mean, that's that's where all the big civilization was happening in the end of the day, back in those days. Here we go. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back in a bit. Just thought I'd talk to you about my plans. These bees definitely need to get themselves a sanctuary. I need to build them a sanctuary. Yeah, so I'll probably record the replay mod of building the sanctuary. See you in a bit.
so that's that. That's the shell of the the the, the bee sanctuary, and um, <clears throat> it's taken me a couple of days because um, one, I've been having in connection problems, and two, I've been having to reference my my uh, screenshots and stuff like that. It's it's a pretty difficult process building something from a previous design, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Did I leave anything out? Ah, I did. I thought so. There's an archway in front of the doorway that I left out. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Next, I suppose. Let's just quickly play around with that and see what we got. I think it probably starts something like that. Goes up, then we've got stairs and stuff. Okay. Alright, well, I mean, while I'm doing that, I'll talk to you guys. So as as you can see, it's it's pretty much done. Um, let me get some dirt out. Okay. All right. Oh fucking hell! Okay, let's make it stairway. All right. Then um. Yeah, so after this, I've obviously still got to do the interior, uh, and that's going to be a bit of a spiel, but uh, one, two, three, yeah, I think I'll go four. Oh, wonderful, it's becoming night out there. I need to uh, let my bees get into their little hives and stuff anyways, so I think I'm just going let it, to let it become night. Then again, it might not be particularly safe. I don't think they can get up here. No, they can't. They might be able to climb some of it, but not all of it. Then again, we might get some skeleton arches out around. Okay, this is this is not very safe out here. So something like that, I think it was. Let me have a look at my... Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Ow, ow, what the hell? Oh, yeah, skeleton arches. I thought so. Oh, I don't have any arrows on me. Off we go. Let's go home. Alright, so it'll, it'll be tomorrow night when I collect the, the bee halves. Much better. It looks a lot less plain in the front here now. Awesome. I've only got four buttons left. That's fine, that's all I needed. Okay. Good stuff. Perfect. Alright, so I really need to start thinking about doing the interior now. Now I don't have any screenshots of, of my final stage of the interior. But I pretty much remember it. So it was down to that's where I've got the fireplaces okay so I have a fireplace there then I'll have the thing up on top of that and then the first beehive there and then a fireplace then the second beehive there then a fireplace then the third beehive there yeah and then that's the same for it all the way along and then I've got flowers in the front flowers in the back
going to go return his pick now. I didn't... Well, I repaired it a bit before, and now I, I wasn't able to repair it again this time, but I know where he lives now. It's very easy. There's a little road up to my base from his place. It's right here. If I go along this wall here, I might even make a little... Because I see he's made a little pathway here, or someone has. And I might even make a little a little doorway there through my my wall eventually. I think this is his base, yes. Yo. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. There you go. Thank you very much.